Have you ever wanted to give your 3D model a more faceted look? Well, the secret is in the Fong tag. Here, let's take a look at this torus and we'll break it down. So you see how there's very few polygons and because of that, there are these sharp edges over here. And you would expect to see that reflected in the object itself. But if we look over here, while we can see these sharp edges, what we're not seeing is the result of very few polygons. This actually looks pretty smooth considering how few polygons there are on this. And that's all an illusion being created by the Fong tag. It's not too different than adding a bump map and seeing bumps except on the edges of a 3D model where the bump map doesn't really show up. So here we've got this torus with the Fong tag activated. So let's go into the Fong tag right here. You select it right here. This is it. And if we go down to the bottom, when we uncheck angle limit, we can now break that smoothing. I'm just going to scale this down from 40 to zero. And now you can really see what this object looks like when rendered in 3D without the illusion. Now, generally in 3D, you don't want to have something that looks like this, but there are times where it can be very useful. For example, if you want to do something that looks more like a jewel or crystal. So let's grab hold of a glass material. I'm going to go into the Cinema 4D browser. You can access this by clicking on this icon right here in the upper left. And usually it will open up on the side over here, but I have it set up to open right here at the bottom. And I'm going to drag this right onto my torus. And this is what the faceted version looks like. Going back to the Fong tag, if I turn off angle limit again, we can see how smooth it looks. Let me also jump into the glass material and make another change. I'm gonna click on that, go down into the transmission section, which controls transparency, and I'm gonna raise the value of dispersion from zero. I'm gonna bring it to one. And that's gonna create a lot of chromatic aberration within the object, which looks really cool. But check this out. If I go back to the Fong right here, and I turn angle limit back on, we get something that looks very interesting. And if I were to make it even a little more interesting, maybe I'll add in a Mo extrude right here. I'll drop that inside of the torus and let me set the uh, X, Y, and Z for scale to 0.6. And we're getting something really interesting. And if the Fong tag were set to not limit the angle, so let's turn this off, we get something a lot smoother and interesting in its own right, but the other one has a lot more color and a lot more interest there. And you know, it depends on what you're trying to do. As always, I hope that this helps you in your work. I'm Aaron Rabinowitz. I'll see you soon.